The World Bank, in a release, once declared that financial inclusion is a key enabler to reducing poverty and boosting prosperity. However, more than half of the world's adult population do not have access to basic financial services, especially in Africa and Asia. In recent times, stakeholders, policymakers, and key decision makers in the financial industry are continuously promoting the access of financial products and services to the poor population in rural areas. Welcome to Tech Talk. In this edition, we'll be talking about the importance of financial inclusion in today's world. Financial inclusions refer to the ability of individuals to access financial products and services in order to meet their immediate needs. Financial services like savings, cash withdrawals and deposits, cash transfer, bills payments, airtime recharge, and many more are made readily available to the unbanked and underserved population through various channels, including digital channels such as mobile app, USSD, short code, ATM and POS, agent locations and bank branches. These service offerings are affordable and useful to the target population to attain the desired goal of reaching all. Financial inclusion aims to remove the barriers that exclude people from participating in the financial sector using these services to improve their lives. One of such barriers is a requirement to visit a bank branch for every financial transaction, which was a norm in the past. These days, we are taking banking to the people, and this new slogan is Embedded Banking. Banking anywhere, anytime, and on your own terms. It facilitates day-to-day -day living and helps families and business plan for everything from long-term goals to unexpected emergencies. What's more, people are more likely to use other financial services such as savings, credits, and managed risk with insurance, such as health insurance, education insurance, agri insurance, etc., and weather financial shocks, get micro pension, start and expand their businesses, the list is endless. The World Bank in 2015 says that financial inclusion helps lift people out of poverty and can help speed economic development. One can therefore conclude that all of these will contribute steady economic growth across all levels and improve standards of living and is one of the most sustainable ways of lifting people out of poverty. While the barriers to financial inclusion have been a long-term problem, a number of initiatives are sprouting to broaden access to the kinds of financial services that many affluent consumer, consumers take for granted. For its part, the financial industry is continually coming up with innovative strategies to produce, to provide products and services to the global population. The increasing use of fintech, for example, has led to the advent of technologically enabled tools to address the problem of inaccessibility to financial services and devise constructive means for individuals and organizations to obtain the services they need at reasonable cost. INLAX is keen into the Central Bank of Nigeria's National Financial Inclusion Strategy and is actively spearheading projects to promote financial inclusion in Nigeria, including our agency banking initiatives and other initiatives to deepen the financial well-being of the small older entrepreneurs across various value chains in Nigeria. Evidence worldwide shows that access to financial services contribute both to economic growth and wealth creation, and is therefore key to tackling the poverty trap in economics. In economics, it is critical for regulators and policymakers to create an enabling policy environment to actively promote the demands for and the supply of financial services to the unbanked and underbanked. Thank you for watching this video. Kindly like and subscribe for more relevant tech videos. Thank you.